but then said, uh, so general principle, bad. Specific situation, I mean, not much to lose and something to gain for those people. And then uh, George Selgin interacted with me, the economist, the free banking economist, interacted with me on, on Twitter and said, okay, but even if you are going to push for adoption, the wording of the law is very bad because Article 7 says that uh, you, you are forced to accept Bitcoin. So before, people were only forced to accept dollars, which was bad already. Now they're forced to accept dollars or Bitcoin. They are increasing the amount of force on individual. But then some people pointed out that that was a, a there was a strangely written law, as typical for politicians. There are Article Eight that also says that if you have the government provided infrastructure, you can receive Bitcoin and change inst instantly with uh, to dollars and receive dollars in your traditional fiat uh, method. Uh, so you, if you do have that infrastructure, you can just use it for free. Of course, free stuff from government. There is always always some trick, but you can use it for free. So you're basically, it's like you didn't even receive Bitcoin. And there is Article 12 that says that if you do not have, for some reason, the government provided infrastructure, uh, which is handedly out for free, but you cannot have it because, for, because it's not practical, you don't have the internet, then you are not forced to comply with Article 7. So basically, uh, I mean, feel free to tag Max with this because we never had the, 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 the way to discuss it. But the actual law at the end is you don't want it. Just don't install the app. Don't have an internet connection with the app or, or just say that you couldn't exchange the app. And the law explicitly uh, uh, excuses you from having to accept Bitcoin. Do, you do have the infrastructure change with Bitcoin, uh, sorry, change with dollars, if you prefer dollars, or just accept Bitcoin and, and don't have fun staying poor uh, with, uh, with, the, with inflating dollars. So again, uh, philosophically, I'm not a fan of, uh, of uh, central planning and government adopting Bitcoin. On one side, it was probably inevitable, so we cannot really fight that. Uh, and there are other more urgent fights, even when we have to fight El Salvador government, there are way more urgent problems with that. And, uh, and, and also the specific design of the law, I'm sorry to say, because I don't like politicians, I don't like bureaucrats, I don't like central planning, but it's not that bad. It's a little bit convoluted, but when you actually analyze it, the, I think that the, the first time I will see a cop, uh, I don't know, uh, jailing somebody because they're not willing to accept uh, uh, Bitcoin from a guy on a, on a grocery shop, I will be uh, on the front line with Max saying that's very, very bad, that's terrible, that's the opposite of what Bitcoin stands for. If I had to say that I find that scenario likely, considering the law and considering everything, uh, you know, also during this slow phase of price discovery, most people will not even spend Bitcoin. I mean, even with this law, most people will just send dollars back to El Salvador and most people will just, uh, and if people will, uh, if the Salvadorian uncle uh, will receive some dollars and some Bitcoin, they will probably t uh, uh, keep hold of the Bitcoin and spend the dollars instead if they are, re uh, if they are rational. So uh, I, don't, I don't even think there will be a single occasion of violence in this case. I agree that culturally speaking, we should not be over, uh, overexcited about cent Bitcoin will not be adopted by decree. That's the opposite of what Bitcoin stands for. So stuff like El Salvador may be inevitable. I think it will expand maybe in this cycle, maybe in the next two, maybe Panama and other countries that are just uh, suffering from external dollarization uh, and, and high remittances uh, volume. It's already, I mean, the Philippine islands also have solved part of the remittance problem without any legal tender law, just because people in Philippine Islands started to actually uh, accept Bitcoin a lot because there is a lot of people sending Bitcoin back to the Philippine Islands. And so it's happened naturally, which is better. In El Salvador, it happened more forcibly. But again, I, don't, uh, I will be with Max against every single case of specific violence against an, a no-coiner in El Salvador.
I understand what you're saying, definitely. I, I think I, because this is the thing for me, I've got quite like libertarian beliefs, I guess, uh, I'll have to admit. So I, I always find it quite tough to accept, yeah, like someone says you're forcing someone to accept Bitcoin, especially when, you know, some people are just aren't going to get it for a fairly long period of time. Uh, it's kind of understandable, you know, um, for various reasons, cultural beliefs, education, whatever. Um, so yeah, I can see where you're coming from there. Um, but then, yeah, as I say, I, I, I kind of, I, yeah, I understood it that, you could convert the Bitcoin immediately into dollars using the government infrastructure. So it kind of made me feel a little bit better about it, um, which uh, uh, it sounds like did the same for you. Um, there's, yeah, there's more I wanted to ask you, but um, I'm aware we're running la- uh, long on, on time. So um, yeah, I think I can do 20 minutes more, not more than that, though. It depends if you still have time. So, um, yeah, amazing, amazing talk so far. I've, I, there's so much to unpack, but I have something a little bit more, um, a new to- topic, basically. So. What are your thoughts on the Bitcoin Mining Council? You know, it's, it's, it may look like a nothing burger at the moment, but do you see these people as, as set of people who have some kind of um, hero complex, oh, we're here to save the day? Um, and do you, do, you, do you think that we could see a repeat of the Segway2x and New York agreements type of thing in the future with this um, with the emergence of the Bitcoin Mining Council? Very good question. I think it's something in between El Salvador and, uh, and uh, uh, segue to X, meaning that uh, uh, on one side, it's, uh, it's a top down, top down uh, centralized uh, central planning designed to save Bitcoin, which is already a failure in principle. If Bitcoin needed centralization to be saved by something, Bitcoin had failed. Uh, this is not true, for example, at the beginning, without Satoshi as a central point of failure, there will not be Bitcoin. But then the point of Bitcoin is that the central point of failure that were necessary at the beginning uh, gradually got, got dismissed. And now we don't depend of any individual action, any hero, any savior to fix Bitcoin. If we do, that's a real problem. Uh, it's the same problem with the, um, the uh, let's say, the Bitcoin Foundation with Gavin. And, uh, and later on also when me and Adam Beck and Elena and Slash, we, and Will Panda, we proposed the B Foundation uh, as a new way, as a sim, as a stuff to just funnel donations, actually. But we generated a strong reaction against it by the community, which I understood. And then we backed off and we said, okay, let's just funnel donation individually without a, this kind of centralization of the narrative. So uh, there is a centralization point. Uh, uh, unlike uh, uh, segwit to x and New York agreement, this is not really proposing yet any change to the Bitcoin protocol. So I don't feel any, that there were, like Nick Carter was saying, the new, uh, the new civil war will be on uh, 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 miners enforcing uh, energy sources mix. I don't think so. There is no civil war because the, the, as you said, right now is mostly a nothing burger. It's just a few people on a Zoom uh, chat. I mean, just like us here, we can we can say we are now the great uh, Bitrefill Council, Bitrefill Podcast Council. I mean, okay, we are. Doesn't matter. So we are the same. They are they're just the same. But in perspective, uh, they could become a active lobby. Uh, but still, until they don't push for any kind of uh, um, block censorship, like uh, we are not going to mine. Uh, transactions that are not uh, from people who are, I mean, we are, we are blocking uh, climate denier transactions. That, that, would, be, that would be a problem. Uh, until it's just uh, the, the will to coordinate, to expose their specific energy mix in order to convince people that Bitcoin is not really going to, to uh, burn the oceans. Um, I mean, it's, it's okay, it's not really, I don't consider that a, a issue. Uh, the difference with El Salvador would be that this is better because at least there is not a legal mandate, it's not a, a law, it's just some people um, gathering for something. It's worse because the content of El Salvador laws, at least, I think it's reasonable. People accepting Bitcoin directly in order to, uh, to route uh, over uh, remittance fees and to route over inflation, that's reasonable. I think the content of this energy mix disclosure is actually non reasonable. I, I am a physicist, and as a physicist, I think the whole thing about uh, uh, renewable sources of energy is, 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 is a bunch of uh, green energy, is a, bust, a bunch of physical nonsense. Uh, thermodynamically speaking, there is just 
free energy and when you use it you create entropy and you just lose it and you consume it and uh, so eventually we run out of free energy uh, from the environment but before we get to that we have to become a type 3 uh, galactic civilization before you run out of all the free freaking free energy we have in atoms with with fix uh, nuclear fiction and everything and fusion and whatever no, um, so i think the more the civilization advances the more the civilization will ask for free energy because that's what the civilization does it transforms the environment and the most efficient the, the most the, the higher demand you will have for energy the most efficient you will have the providers tries to be in order to compete so miners will try to provide more hashes with less energy because energy is expensive for them so all these and also ultimately what we're using is just basically solar energy with the exception of the volcano in el salvador it's all solar energy because when you when you burn uh, carbons basically you are just burning chemical energy which was precedently created via photosynthesis by solar energy it's all freaking solar energy even hydroelectric is is the the sun heating up water uh, which will just end up in a higher gravitational potential and now it's coming down and you are extracting the this, you are leveraging this difference it's all solar anyway uh, to fixate on uh, of photoelectric uh, as a only kind of solar which also has a lot of environmental problems i, I understand the photoelectric is cool because people uh, immediately understand that we are using this giant nuclear source on the, on the on the sky which is free and it's wasted and we are using that and which is very very good but it's just very easy to understand that the photo that the photo uh, photoelectric panel is doing that but every other sources is also leveraging that same uh, reaction of course hydrocarbons they will run out because we are burning them fast in a faster fashion that we are that, that they are creating uh, but price dynamics will likely fix that if, a, if an energy resource uh, energy source uh, or a free energy source is become becomes scarcer the price will increase compared to other you don't have to subsidize you don't have to scream you just have to uh, you just have to let prices work of course if uh, uh, prices don't work when you have some kind of uh, crazy externalities so you make somebody else pay for your lunch uh, but this is not really the case with oil and carbon. People who are, who are using oil and carbon, will have, when oil and carbon will end or become scarcer, people will have to pay uh, to, to do that, except for government that gets that for free because they just expropriate it from people. <laughs>